Ah, it's a good song. It's a good song. It's a good song. Yeah, what is this? Is this new? It's the most expensive home in, in What's Park up, City. Everybody, and welcome to Park City, Utah. Home right behind the most expensive house is thirty five million. Thirty five million dollars, which makes it the most expensive home. Yeah, guys, what did that every modern house in Utah that we that, that, that he's toured look like? Uh, um, looks like a house in Inception, or looks like a house um, in, in a. In, it looks like a like some weird off the grid prison, like or, or headquarters with like guard towers and shit. Is it not? Is it not? Guys, it looks like the Inception building at the end of, at the end of the movie. Level, we have access to your four car garage where the homeowners store their tractor. I'll cover that detail later. Okay, summertime also. Now, coming yo, to yo, NS, get to it, bro. Connecting the main wing to the primary bedroom suite, which is the entire right corner. Then you have mature trees, elevation differences. Oh, this is kind of cool. Listen to this concrete walls. Red song. The list goes on and on and on. Oh. This is such an impressive first impression as you walk to your front door. I don't think we've ever seen a setting like this before. No, this is incredible. I love the sound of the water throughout the whole house. You'll see as we walk through. Throughout the whole house? Kind of glimpses of waterfall sounds everywhere. It's pretty nice. Absolutely. And this house reminds well, my me of this, this the new house water in estate in Pennsylvania, designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. And I say that because that house is where you have the Fleetwood front door opening up to your spacious foyer. As soon as you walk in, you see these awesome views of the mountain. And we have the primary bedroom suite in the office on this wing. But first, I want to bring everybody yeah, here. They just, it's, it's just a pet peeve of mine of having uh, front doors uh, with windows like that. Because I, I feel like you could probably like get in through it. It's just, eh. Staircase on our left-hand side Slide going them. down to the Slide. lower level. Picture window facing the front, chandelier above. And we have this stacked stone wall coming from the outside. Just something I think about All sometimes. the way to the interior. And here we are in the great room. This space is phenomenal. Gets great light. Dining area, yeah. chandelier above, and behind that we have a glass enclosed wine cellar here that can hold this up is to okay. a thousand bottles. Lighting sucks. Really complements the space. And right next to that we have a door opening up to an outdoor dining area that's front facing that we will cover in a bit. Now coming here, this is your main seating area. Furniture looks great. Board form, concrete, fireplace. The, the, the lighting sucks like a little bit. Electronic meaning you can come here and shut it off and push up a button. Ignited back on. It's, it's, too, it's cool. too spotty. Absolutely. It's too spotty. And we have a marble coffee table in the center. This space is super open, um, super cozy. And by the way, all the furniture is included with the sale of this property. So I wanted to mention that limestone floors. This is okay. The floor sucks a little bit. Sliding glass doors open up. The TV. Um, yeah, there's no TV. And that limestone floors. Amazing views you of the surroundings. You need a TV. You need a TV. You need a TV. Sliding glass doors open up. And yeah, we have the dining area, wine cellar, seating setup kitchen here that we are going to see in a bit and now it's like an 85 inch right here boom. so we have this cantilevered balcony here which is an amazing outdoor space and throughout the home we have a lot of concrete this patios, is okay lower level patios and balconies they're all heated which is great during winter the outside furniture sucks the, 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 the bigger bigger benches or whatever outside this it. home is located at the base of the colony at white pine canyon and don't right care around the patio you have another section here this section comes with a wood-burning fireplace. It's a little bit super better. Super cozy. Different view corridors. I mean, look at this. How awesome is this? This is okay. Yeah, it's uh, it's great. I love that smell. Kind of looks scuffed. Like, it looks kind of scuffed. The smell reminds me of the mountains always. Island in the center. We have the breakfast nook around the corner. I hate watching him. Just views. don't like all of it. Though. And then we have this section here, where on the other side, it's actually cabinetry servicing the wine cellar. And over here, we have a 16-inch TV. And I just like how the corners are clad with these blackened, steel panels which gives you that industrial look. I'm not nitpicky also. limestone floors are also here and we have these limestone countertops which are the same material. Guys, guys but on in modern houses I like when the kitchen okay is 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 melting in the, in, in the living room. It's a seamless one in the other or whatever and you can do you can customize it however you want because the kitchen is very so social in, in a very social space and having it in a separate place where it's kind of hidden is kind of annoying a little bit. You kind of like to have if you have people around to be like uh, uh, cooking or be like close to the, cl to close to the bar area or the, or the fucking thing, you want it to be social ever. Having it yeah, hidden is kind of lame. Lettered finish, dual elevation here, bar seating kicks out, and I want to talk about a detail here. Obviously, this bar seating with a waterfall edge is all solid piece of wood, 
And if you look on the ceiling and compare the finish there versus this, you can see a lot of the veins and knots here, versus mm -hmm. ceilings are so clean. You don't see any knots. And that was by design because they wanted the house to have this very minimalist and clean look. So I wanted to point that out. Now, coming back to the kitchen, darker cabinetry, flat panel with built-in handles. Island is here. This with is okay. Top. Behind me, we have the paneled freezer and fridge, built-in appliances, all Gagano, and you have a gas cooktop here with a hood vent above, all custom design, and they use the oh, same this gonna suck. steel to wrap the vent. So little space next to the fucking burners, though. Like, it's so, so slim. You want, I always like to put stuff ne ne next to the burners. It, it's Coming barely any way, space here. You have the farm sink. Two it's dishwashers. not great. First one here. Second you want to have your stuff side, ready, your spices or whatever. It's, 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 it's so tiny. Because we have another one in the butler's pantry. Overall, great space integrated into your living room and to these amazing views. Now, around the corner, we have this opening taking us to the mud room. A lot of built in cabinetry. This door opens up to the wow. four car garage that is right next to the motor court. And coming here, we have a really interesting detail. We see a lot of elevators in the home. My kitchen is better. But this one, you press the button here, it automatically opens the door and the curtain. You step inside, you don't touch anything. You press the floor wow. that you want to go to and it closes everything for you. I'll okay. show you, you'll see, you'll agree with yeah, my feet. Sure. My better. It's happening already. Um, All right, going this way, additional built-in cabinetry, and we have the butler's pantry here, espresso machine, Do I not have wine the dispenser, somewhere? your second sink, your third dishwasher. Is it weird for me to like dishwashers a lot? I feel I'll like it's a common running theme in the channel. Yes. You love your dishwasher. I'll set the Sammy so I can have it on Discord. Yeah. I mean, it's just such a great convenience. When you have a big nah, one, like, you can entertain. Put as many It's not finished yet, but it's pretty decent. Anywhere you have sink, you can easily put two. And to give everybody a little bit of context, Look. when you have a dishwasher, you need to have a plumbing line that you can connect to. And every time you have a sink, that means you already have the plumbing line. Come on, guys, do it. I know you just moved into a new house and you finally have two dishwashers in your house. How do you I feel know. about that? And two sinks. It's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. And you have. Look, 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 look. Okay. Look, see, see, there's, there's enough, there's this place. Look, next to the fridge, there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of place. Okay, okay, an island, and it's melting into the fucking space of the living room. See, it's, it's, it's more social. It's more, it has more, it has more place. You know what I understand? How's that mid? That's fantastic. What are you talking about, then? It's nice, huh? Fuck, small with you, man. Oh man, this chat has no taste. Yikes. Weird. Yeah, the house came with this. I'm getting this removed. I'm putting wood instead on it. It's gonna be like a like a So I thought I thought um removing all of this, right? And instead of putting an aquarium that is from the top to the bottom of a fish tank and put fishies in it. Inside of the of the of the wall. So that was the idea behind it. But I think I'm just gonna put wood instead, like a wood panel and an art piece on it. What are you thinking? Wood, wood, like big wood panels and pick a big art piece that almost go to the bottom. Like that, boom. Because fishy is gonna be very expensive and I don't think I'm gonna do that. Guys, 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 I think I have a fish PTSD, okay? I rented a house, okay, once. It was a big ass house. It was way too expensive, okay? But I, guys, I, I had to move really fast. So I, I said, fuck it, I'll just, I'll just get it. And the guy had fishies, okay? And the day I got there, the day I got there, the fishy died. Instantly, okay. We got there. We're there for an hour. Fishy died, okay. Boom. And it was it was like expensive exotic fishes, and it died, and it went to the bottom, okay. And so one hour in, it's dead. One hour later, I come back. The fish is gone. And I'm like, what is this? And, and I said this before. So basically, what happened is that the fishies of that kind, when when the the boyfriend or the other girlfriend dies, the other fishy they eat the partner. They eat the whole thing, even the bones. So the, the mother sucker, the mother sucker, she, she, she or he ate the whole fish and it was gone. There was no proof of the murder anymore. Additional cabinetry and built-in appliances here. Great space. Now we're not done here because we have this door opening up to a front facing covered patio space. And that's a little bit ugly. Colors are lame. A couple of reasons. Number one, you're right next to the water feature. So the sound, views are absolutely gorgeous XQC and then you have L. this picnic table right in the center chandelier above fire pit here something about this the space is, is so cozy again it's facing the courtyard you have the water feature built-in barbecue area here 
I don't know. It's just an awesome space. So I want to take you guys out here. This now, is okay. I actually want to take everybody back to the entry foyer so we can continue our tour. No, I'm not here watching. Right. We have the office tank, and the primary bedroom suite here. And the door on our right hand side is the powder room. I like the this tile. This powder room is really special. Obviously, we have the floating vanity design here, vessel sink. But more importantly, you have this amazing corner glass facing the water features off of the entry. Look at this view. Who gets an I would like to have this in, in any other room than this room, I feel like. I feel like any other room, this would be insane. Why a bathroom? Amazing view, like this. Amazing. Just amazing. All right, let's continue. Going back to the whole One in the kitchen. Flat ceilings. Obviously, you feel very connected to the outdoors, even on the hallways. Looks awesome. You have sandstone and blackened steel, then stacked stone on the other side. And I got to give huge credit to the That's corny. here because he could have designed this room with all glass walls, but instead he anchored the fireplace right in the center and he still and put his glass not glass panels in the right spaces so you get to enjoy the outdoors, feel connected, but yet you don't feel like That's you're cool. in a glass box because you want to enjoy the outdoors. It shows that he put a lot of thought into designing this house and its view corridors. And this room, just like the rest of the house, feels very, very cozy. See, this land is the same company I told you guys last time about, right? We have same the thing. First See, they all have, they all have the same the designer room. lamps. On the other side, built in cabinetry, and he even placed these motorized awning windows, which mm -hmm. means push up a button, you can just open same them company. up and let fresh air come into this. Uh, That's the okay. Yeah, what else? The end, side, and we have this door opening up to your primary bedroom suite. Now, off of the entry, we have the seating area here. Again, that looks like a hotel. Facing the views, double-sided fireplace, and I just love how oh, the sandstone, black and steel, and stacked stone detail on both sides. TV here, and around the corner, we have a wet bar, Corny reverse from osmosis, the guy with light up drinking water. The floor nice behind and convenient. Him. You have two refrigerator drawers here, sink, some open cabinetry, and going this way. Yeah, guys, going... guys, guys, so cozy, guys. Let's watch TV, man. You guys, you guys, I got, I got the, uh, the NBA playing, guys. Guys, look, guys, look. Oh, guys, they scored, look. Just a couple months Chat. away from Did you guys see? Love you, look. Honey. They scored right there, look. Like, what is that, man? What is that, dude? The bedroom area. It's fucking stupid. Bed, wood paneled back wall. It's fucking motorized stupid. Motorized windows on each side. Then you have sliding glass doors opening up to your private patio dedicated for the primary bedroom. This is okay. Like fireplace, TV, and before we go outside... Same joke, way, okay, then same TV. Amazing. I will I change my joke when you change, when you change TV. This is where we so, have the two walls. Oh, that's nice. Houses. I like that. You can access I like that. I think that's nice. And going through this opening, we have the... That's really nice. I like that a lot. I think... Um, so this does really good with lighting. And see, they, they, got, they got a hole at the top, which put lighting. And it... it it, it, it makes it cool with the waves. Marble That's pretty smart. Tops, well done. Sinks. It's nice and open. Then you have this texture wall here, creating some separation between the walk-in shower and freestanding tub and this part of the bathroom here. Going this way, first water closet. I like and it. This is the first walk-in closet. You know, you know what could be cool about this though? You know, a little bit of an oversight is if, there was, if there's a bunch of different lights in it, right? That they, can, they kind of breathe, right? In intensity, right? And, and where it's at. And it makes a complete, it shifts the entire waves and how they're, they're, they're perceived. So because of how strong the lights are or where they're at, right? It, it, they breathe and shift in space very slowly. And it changes the, what the wall looks like. It, okay. Crazy. That's Going massive. Way, massive. First water closet. And this is the first walk-in closet, built-in cabinetry, LED lit mirror. That's weird. Window design above and going this way. This flooring this is on it. This hallway then. takes us to the freestanding tub. And Mikey, can we take a moment here? Nope. To soak in these views. This is nope. gorgeous. What is this? I saw this section for the first time yesterday and I was so blown away by Weird it. Weird flooring. People are going to see my dick. Video. I'm good. Absolutely. Okay, no, whatever this. Awesome bedroom. Just awesome. Now, very, very corny. Uh, uh, I want to take everybody carpet. out to the balcony. Again, we're back. Okay, this carpeting is disgusting. I don't know and who thought this was a good idea. That is not it. And you have your sliding glass doors what? opening up to this. Oh my god, dude. Bro. The bedroom. And you have your... The... 42 inch TV from long range. Fucking ACOG scope 16X across the map. Sliding How do you watch this? this hey, honey. What, hey, you, hey, hey, you want to watch Breaking like Bad? The middle of a forest. And... Look at Dude, how are you gonna fucking? How are you gonna watch that? How are you gonna watch TV? Water feature down huh. below me. Your zero edge pool. That so makes no sense at all. Have wildlife so bad. There's a That's disgusting. Creek down below. Now let's go to the lower level. 
have a drink at your bar. It's just all open around the corner. We have a dining area or your poker table, depending on your taste uh, and what do you want to do with this space. XQC. So okay. it's all facing the views. Chandelier above. This rug is tacky. The seating section here faces. This space feels very cozy and it's connected to the outdoors thanks to these sliding glass doors. Bubble. Now, let's go through this hallway so we can check out. Why so, is the TV that you're not gonna watch bigger than the, any other TV in the, in the whole fucking uh, house? Bubble. How? Now, How? let's go through this hallway so we can check out some of the other rooms that we have on this wing. Door on my left opens up to the spa, massage tables, another high placed window facing the water feature off of the entry. So oh my God. God. In total, PVC. just like you mentioned Can earlier, another awning window jungle? facing the water feature. That's kind of cute. These bunk beds are really tall. They all have their built-in reading lights, chrome ladders, pretty fancy. I, I, I think I guess it's very bad. I'm very, I'm, I'm being very nitpicky, but with how high you are, having the railing so low. Uh... And of course, this room comes with a full bathroom, corner shower, floating vanity, and I just like the tile choice here. Wow. So playful. I had bunk beds going up and I, I would always fall off of it. Now, going back to the hallway, what else we have left? Oh, this I would roll out of it, fun. literally. So I'd fall on the top floor. This is your ski prep area, meaning you have your boot warmers here. It's very easy access. Cool. Now, let's talk about this amazing backyard. All, we just sort of found all this space. Sliding. Little on the model. If all the space in the world make it something cool and this is the pool that you make, no jump pad, no slides, no, no cool. Look at that, you can't even run around, there's, there's rocks, there's a fucking, there's a trip feature. Why? Inside, just like the house itself, you have this fire on the corner, motorized cover, that way you can just close this off and retain the heat because this is also a heated pool. So I wanted to mention that. You have natural stone all around it. And another detail Happy that I really Because it's like for adults. The fact that they kept You're dumb. the land quite You're dumb. original, meaning they could have easily placed a massive retaining wall here and flattened this entire moment. backyard. But instead, they kind of let the landscape and the natural, I guess, textures of this land the, the, dictate the landscape. You're so, you're, you're, you're so, you're, you want to be an adult when so bad to okay? do a house tour, that you so think that you're going to age out here, but in fact, you already aged in here. Sad. Escaping, which is Sad. awesome. We have a Sad. seasonal I feel bad for you. Down below us. I feel bad for you. Let's show this to everyone. How cool is this? I mean, it's running right now. It's a little bit slow, obviously, during um, I feel bad. spring. Apparently, it's really powerful. Yeah, when the snow's melting, apparently, this is just rushing another through. massive water feature running through here. This is your backyard. We have deer around, wildlife. Stay young trees, and have some fun. Water features. I mean, this is just so gorgeous. And something y'all don't know from watching this video is it smells itself. Mikey, 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 Mikey. Absolutely. Gorgeous. Dust. Oh, the lighting isn't that bad, actually. It looks like, it looks like that night, yeah. It's pretty nice. I like it. Oh, that TV though. Jesus. Dude, what the fuck? What? How do you watch this? Also, the internet is a severe lack of rocks. Dude, really, Ennis? You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna present us a house that has barely any rocks?